Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Narita International Airport. So we're doing the check-in now. We got to Japan about an hour or something ago and it literally took forever from the airport to come into Tokyo. It wasn't really four hours, it was like an hour and 20 minutes. Which is like Because forever. of traffic, we could have got here within an hour. Like we easy. went to the Mi, which, which airport did we go to? Narita. Narita Airport. And then we booked a taxi in. So for anyone who's interested, we booked a taxi online and it was cheaper, $50 cheaper than if you got a taxi at the hotel. So for our stay in Tokyo, we're staying at the Hoshinoya, which is a more traditional Japanese hotel. It is a five-star hotel. We were actually looking at a lot of five-star hotels and we chose this one because we thought it was more unique. They have a total of 84 rooms and you know it's just a bit more different than your traditional like standard hotel there was a lot of standard hotels like every room looked the same everywhere you go so we wanted to make sure we got something more unique and this one is supposed to be more japanese like i guess yeah it's a ryokan style which means uh like when you go to hot springs like this is like more like a lodge i guess kind of thing oh okay so it's very traditional you sleep on the floor and stuff he watches a lot of anime, so yeah, you can tell that. <laughs> He'll be our tour guide for Japan. Yeah, right. We hired a tour guide. Yeah, he also hired a tour guide. <laughs> he asked me, he's like, Oh Chani, what would you like to do when you're in Japan? I'm like, I can do anything you want. It's right? only like, $150 a night. Uh, a day. Sorry, a day. <laughs> night, you hired a tour guide too. <laughs> what did your tour guide do, E? A fifty a night. <laughs> During the day. <laughs> So yeah, he decided to hire a tour guide. So we don't even know what we're doing yet. Well, I guess we'll find out. We just go with the fly. It's, it's okay. Go with the flow, not the go fly. Go flow. flow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not uh, very fully awake yet. I'm still we're still really jet lagged. the room no, I'm just kidding <laughs> like this is E's much. philosophy every time we pay so much for our hotel room we just chill in the room no we're not chilling in the room we're going out <laughs> every time I go to a resort with E he's like Chani we pay so much for the hotel we should just stay in the hotel that's a beach resort it's different <laughs> e, are you happy water. I'm thirsty oh yeah. can I grab a peach drink Oh, you mean to the uh, yeah? Let's go. Should we plan out where we want to go, or are we gonna go out now? Um, okay, I'm gonna like take off my sweater because it's so hot. Can we just walk around? Yeah, we randomly? can walk around. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, another thing. So while we were leaving Shanghai, leaving the Waldorf. I forgot to take my charger and my extra battery. So now, today, we actually have to go buy extra battery and charger. Oh my god. I really like the sound of the rail. Rail traffic, right? Yeah, dunna, 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 dunna. Makes me want to sleep. Right now, we are walking to Tokyo Station. He really wants to go to Tokyo Station for some reason. No, we don't have to go in. Oh, we don't have to go in? Yeah, you don't have to go in. Then why did we come here? Well, because this is the general direction of Jinza, if that's where we're going. Oh, we're going to Jinza. Do you want to go in? Let's go in. Okay, let's go in. Sorry. I think this is connected Look, to the bullet train. They have little lock boxes. Yeah, for storing your items when you need to. There's also a bank inside the station. Well, that's probably the only time you can do banking. 
postage. There's a lot of restaurants here as well and the subway. They have everything at Tokyo Station. Well, you know, uh, Japan is one of the largest consumer of designer goods. So they have a lot of designer stores around. Okay, I am filming now. You should buy me a jacket, it's so cold. <laughs> sure, go buy one. You hungry? We can get a snack. All right. Well, there's Ginza. Look at the lights. Not very impressive. Uh, you gotta be there to sort of. Anyways. More impressive on the other street. <laughs> sure. But that was Tokyo Station, though. But the Ginza, I mean, like that you were taking a picture. Oh, oh look at that little. Place. Look at that little store. <laughs> Ew. It's cool. It's probably a bar. Yeah. Oh, well, there is Ginza. Look up. Uh... Are you sure this is Ginza? Yes. 100 percent. Maybe. And like, there's not enough. Oh, look at the, the tiny top. car that the Japanese police is driving. Oh, Pola. This is a store I want to go to. What does this sell? They sell skincare. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, do you actually want to go right now? Yeah. Let's go check it out. Okay. Time to spend money. Uh, They're well known make for all hotel. their drinking stuff. No, I'm not gonna drink this stuff. I'm gonna buy a mask. Okay, why don't you look for a mask? I think this is hair care. Ooh, I should get some hair care in the future too. No photo. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> This is my lunch. I got a trashy dong and this is about $10 USD. So it's much cheaper than what we had last day. It looks so good. For $10, yes. Yeah. We're not eating like $50 yen or $90. We are. Okay, fine. Right now is day two of our Japanese trip. We're actually at a temple right now. Uh, I don't know what this temple is called, so I'm gonna have to ask E later to kind of explain. But the front door of the temple, apparently like this temple was built back like centuries and centuries ago. And the temple was actually destroyed and re like rebuilt a couple times. So currently this temple, this whole area is actually rebuilt after the Second World War. They actually bombed this entire place in the Second World War. Not bomb but like destroy the entire place or bomb I'm not exactly sure the front gate was kind of special it's been donated by one of the bigger companies and it has the company logo on the front gate and the gate is known as the thunder gate in Japan it's got the wind god and the thunder god in the front and it's known as the thunder gate now inside once you go past the gate is where I am right now he is actually inside buying chopsticks I don't know why he wants to buy chopsticks but he is buying chopsticks so I'm just waiting for him here there's actually a lot of tourists there's a whole bunch of food that you can eat around here what's really famous is the sweets like kind of like a mochi I don't even know but apparently we're gonna go for ice cream later so they have the most concentrated ice cream in the entire world here and you can pick your concentration it goes up to seven so I really like ice cream I'm gonna try a level seven and see are you gonna you want to buy chopsticks I like this yeah, he's buying chopsticks. He's more girly than I am. I this like looks it. pretty. Are you gonna buy one for me and one for you? Is that what you're gonna do? Why don't you look for one that you like? Look for one I like? Yeah, because this is the one I like. You like that? Don't take I like simple ones. Like, I would buy. Oh, this is cool too. Look at this. Let me show you guys the chopsticks. Oh, can't film? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. So apparently this is the famous item. What? Thank it's you. kind of like a what is it? E? I don't know. It's like a cookie type of thing, but it's more like cookie. a cake. It's soft. It's, it's a soft. cake with red bean inside. I think that's yep. what it is. Yeah. I'm not really into this, so you can eat it. I can eat it. This is a tower where they keep all the cremated um, priests, and after they get cremated, I'm. 
definitely not using the right word but basically after they you know get burned to ashes they actually become like a little shiny circle apparently and they get kept in there so I don't know how that works but apparently it has to do with their body and the stuff they eat and things and they become like a shiny little circle and they stay in there. The temple is basically built around a Buddha statue that the villagers found inside a river and that's how this whole temple got built is to worship you know the Buddha statue to bring good fortune to the people. So this part is the temple. Here you can actually rent these um, yukata. So they're called yukata, they're not called kimono. Kimono is actually a lot more expensive and the material is different and everyone who kind of rents here are the yukata. This is a real kimono. The texture, the material, everything on it is just so much more different than the yukata. Okay, so he's gonna... Gonna get a taro. Okay. Let's see. What did you get? Ten one. Oh, so eleven. He got eleven. He got eleven. He is what is the this? best you can get out of the entire place? Really? This is the best you can get entire. Out Are you sure? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So what does that mean? The luckiest thing you can get out of this. There's no other luckier one? Uh, I don't believe. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. The one. Wow, e. your dollar is totally worth it. Number 11. Okay. This should be your new lucky number. Uh, I'll, find one here. I'll put it back. Okay. So what are you going to do with this? Keep it in my wallet for the entire year. I never lose it. Wow. I'm probably gonna get a really bad one. I'm not even gonna try. Should I try? I should go buy lottery. That's what, <laughs> That's what you wanna do with your <laughs> with your fortune? You're gonna buy a lottery. Can you um, put a dollar in so yeah. I can do one? I'll do one for you too. Okay. Can you videotape me? Yes, absolutely. Put it upside down. What is the number? 31. 31. Okay, 31. It's going to be bad. No, this is so This is so This is so bad. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you, you read it from right to left. what am I supposed to do? So this is a small lucky, small fortune. Do you think they have bad fortune here? Yes, they do. Oh, they do. They do. They do. I was like, it's gonna be a good fortune. They do. Everywhere. If you, Jenny, Jenny, if you look over here, these are the bad ones that people don't tie it to it. People tie their bad ones to this. So uh, once in a while, their monks will burn it, and then to sort of uh, get rid of your bad luck. Oh, okay. Yeah. He is a full tourist. He's gonna buy himself a lucky charm. I think I'm gonna skip out on this. No, you're not. You, you only got a small fortune. You have to buy one. <laughs> you got a big fortune, so you don't need one. Let's go. You don't need one. You got a big fortune. No. <laughs> I want this peach. Sure. Oh. Oh. You can use your metro card to buy it. Yeah, I know. You or sure should you I have that one? one? <laughs> what no, I want, want this one. Okay, hurry up. Okay, so this Getting one, the right? peach nectar. And you can buy it with your metro card. There we go. Oh. Wow, this is very good. Yay! What is it? Oh. There's about a thousand something temples in Tokyo alone and this is one of the bigger ones and this is one of the ones that a lot of tourists comes to. What is this temple called in English? Uh, Sensoji. Sensoji temple. And it's also in Japanese Sensoji. Okay, and you can't actually go inside where there's actual worship. You have to reserve, like as a Japanese person, not as a tourist. You have to either reserve or donate a lot of money in order to go in. Now for the yukata, yukata rentals here are about 40 USD and they'll do your hair and everything and get everything ready for you. If you want to rent a kimono, 
which was the nicer one, it cost about $500 almost. No, not ice 500, cream, 400, ice cream, ice cream. around $400. Mm -hmm. And if you buy a kimono, it's probably around $1,000 USD. Or a lot more. Yeah, depending. or a lot more, depending on how you want it, I guess. Are we supposed to have a ice cream at the concentrated ice cream place? Mm -hmm. Oh, but that's her. Oh, they're different ones. There's more. Different ones. Different ones. Different ones. Different ones. Different ones. Got the ice cream and this is concentrated number seven. Apparently it's and the most concentrated matcha ice cream in the world. <laughs> yeah, your mouth is turning green. But it is pretty concentrated then. Yeah, but like it just tastes like a green tea like ice cream. Green tea. No. It's better than green tea ice cream because green tea ice cream is a lot of milk and sugar, but this is just like purely green tea. Can you not move when you're filming? Can you hurry up and eat it? <gasps> I have no battery left again. This is the Tokyo Sky Tree. We are gonna Take a cab and head over and check it out. This is the sky tree. It will light up at night. Here is the base of the sky tree. It's made of a lot of different steel poles. This is the famous part of the sky tree. It's kind of like a market. Oh, oh tempura. We should tempura. We should eat some tempura. Now? Yeah, I'm just gonna have one. I'll buy it and then eat as I go. Oh, you can't eat as I go. I'm just gonna have a tempura. Do you think it's good? Let's try it. Okay. This is a tempura condo. 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 Okay, hold on. Finally, have battery again, and right now we are at dinner. The dinner place is actually right beside our hotel, and it's underneath in the basement. So apparently, in Japan, the better places to eat at is ones where they have two to three chains. So it's a bit bigger, but it's not like your small mom and pop shop. This place is more famous for their yakitori and it's kind of like a yakitori izakaya style so izakaya is like a place for after work drinking and light snack yakitori is the little skewers they have in Japan so I'll show you guys once we um, get our food right now they're like ordering I don't really care what we eat I'm fine with like anything I actually ran out of batteries uh, earlier today yeah Horrible. I'm finally gonna be able to charge my batteries now. Yakitori Miyagawa. This is white karage. So, this is their most famous dish. It's one of their founding dishes. It tastes really good with soy sauce. I mean, not soy sauce. So, you're supposed to eat this with uh, vinegar and it tastes really good. They give you like a little tiny pot of vinegar. And I find that after you dip it in vinegar, it tastes so much better. Chicken heart. I was dripping. Can you change it? Dripping blood. Dripping blood. Just can eat some on the top and shush. Can. It's so good. This is a chicken with chai skewer yakitori. This is the most traditional yakitori in Japan. So apparently in Japan, this restaurant we're currently at is a medium price restaurant and then if you go to a lower range priced restaurant they use chicken that's from Bangkok 
Thailand. And this restaurant, because it's medium price, all the chicken is actually from Japan. So that's why it tastes better. Now, if you go to a higher end restaurant, apparently they have like specific chicken raised on specific farms or specific chicken types. And they'll actually write out the name or write out the farm for you, and you know that you're eating chicken from there. So, those are even more higher grade chickens. <laughs> Mm. This is pig intestine. He said he really likes this one. What does it taste like? I don't know. Can you describe the taste? Why don't you eat it and describe it? Yeah. It's like crunchy and burnt. It's weird. Can you guys guess what this is? This is a chicken wing. So in Japan, they don't really eat the chicken like wing tip. So they eat the rest of the chicken wing and they specially grill it like this so it grows more evenly and it can grow properly, I guess. This is a sea salt like barbecue chicken wing very different than what you have in North America, like the deep fried ones. So if you guys are in Japan, I really recommend you guys try this, as well as the chicken chai yakitori. Ta-da! Grilled tomato. Oh. Tastes very much like those Italian like tomatoes, <laughs> basically. Guys, square watermelon, triangular watermelon. Can you believe this? Oh my god. <gasps> Don't film me uh, stalking on someone who's overworking for like probably 24 hours. No. Anyways. Our room looks red. It looks like the red light district. Yeah, it looks like a red light district? Why? Oh. It's really red. Thank you. I should just like be like this. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's funny. It's funny looking. It's like when you're eating seafood. Oh, tea. Okay, good. <gasps> this looks so good. I'm so excited for breakfast. Today we decided to order in room dining. And I can finally film however I want because I have all the battery in the world right now. Actually, not all the battery in the world, but I have two batteries. You can charge least. it up once you finish filming this. I can least. also charge it up um, whenever we get to a hold I mean, a restaurant. Mm. What is that? Oh, miso soup. soup. They all just have like these um, tofu in their miso soup. What are these tofu called? Like yo tofu, but. In English, what would you call them? Like fish puffs? I mean, not fish puffs, tofu puffs. Yesterday, we were talking to our tour guide and she mentioned that Hoshinoya is actually one of the most famous and the best hotel according to like people in Japan. So if you guys are coming, I would definitely recommend staying at the Hoshinoya versus, you know, Peninsula, Amon, and other similar level hotels. Now on the top of the hotel, it's actually a hot spring. So there's no hot springs obviously in Tokyo, but they did a man-made one and they brought in natural spring water. We went to the hot spring yesterday at 6 a.m. and there was actually a bit of people there as well. And what's so cool about their hot spring is that it's actually open. So the top of the hot spring is open and you can see the sky and you get that cool air exposure on the top. The water is like really hot it's about 41 to 42 degrees celsius so it's really hot but it just feels so good after you go to the hot spring and relax and you know come back and enjoy the rest of your day we're also talking to the people at the hotel and they mentioned that most of the meals in japanese home usually consist of you know fish today we have salmon mostly consists of fish a bit of soup a bit of side dishes and then just mainly rice 
Mm. In Japan, they really like to eat their fish with this um, radish. So it's like shredded or grated radish, and it's got a bit of soy sauce on it, and usually they eat it together with their fish to give it more, I guess, more freshness and more, like, flavor. Uh, beef 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 uh, beef wow, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is very famous ramen shop and then very famous uh, beef dong shop ahead that has a huge lineup. Wow, another knife shop. Look at how big those knives are. It's insane. Wow. My yu. Barbecue yu, it's about $15 each. Fish. Wow, this is yu Wow, this is how fish roll looks like. Currently at the fish market, so this is the retail portion of the fish market, wholesale portion of the fish market is not here. I think we're gonna walk around a bit and then find a place to eat. Everything looks so good. Apparently they don't have whole fish that be cut up anymore. We're gonna go to the shopping district for it because this has become the tourist area. So they have they have everything prepared now, like pre prepared. Okay. So they don't have uh, like live cutting of fish. Anymore. I don't want to see live cutting of fish. I want to see live cutting oh, of okay. like sashimi. I guess we have to go see live cutting of fish. We'll go to the Shinjuku real fish market later on, which is where Shinjuku? we're going anyway. Shinjuku for has live fish cutting. Yeah. Uh, yep. That's what she said, so we'll be uh, fine. Okay. Oh. In the deeper part of the market, there is a place called Shoudu, and apparently this place is really good. But there's a lineup, so we're not gonna line up for this. We're gonna go to another one that's also as good. This place is very famous for their uni rice. It's the place that we are going to go. Usually there is a lineup, but today apparently there's no one here, so we are gonna go and try this place. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
、你团结都都是一样的重点。都是看到那些。外も人少ないですか？嗯，对，少ない。Oh, Toro. Looks so good. Falling apart. Hurry. The fattest, fattiest uh, part of the um, fattest part of um, uh, tuna. It does melt in your mouth. 那个的确是好酸。是，我也没有感觉到。So this place you usually have to line up for a long time, and because the fish market has moved out of this whole region, we think that it has taken an effect on the region. So you actually don't have to line up for most of the places anymore, even the uni rice. Um, our tour guide was saying that it's usually really crowded over there too, and you have to line up. And today there's no lineup. Other than that one sushi store, there's no lineup anywhere else. So we are actually pretty lucky. We don't have to spend time lining up. So a place we are at, this is what? The place we are at is called Qingkong San Dai Mu, and it's a place opened by the grandpa and then passed on to the son and now passed on to the third generation son. 哦，就是我点的那个啊。嗯，就很好吃，很吃。嗯嗯嗯。This is the grilled ortoro. All of the sushi here comes like pre soy sauce, so you don't dip it in soy sauce and you don't put wasabi on it. It's all pre done. This is the uni place. So normally there's a lineup this big, and today there's no lineup. これ。でも魚は全然こっちの方が。これは、え、新潟。うん、そうか。お、寿司がお金なくね。まあ、20円で。はい、20円で。はい、20円で。はい、20円で。はい、20円で。はい、20円で。はい、20円で。はい、20円
we wants to buy a card here. holder. There's another one in Ginza. Oh, I actually want to go to the Hermes at Shinjuku. Is this Shinjuku? Yes, it is. Yeah, I want to go to the Hermes at Shinjuku. Oh my god, I'm so in love with the gimbal. It's so steady. It's so good. Oh, I don't know why I haven't bought this earlier. It makes me so happy that I can finally have like steady video quality except this keeps on moving like random directions. <laughs> I just don't know how to control it. I think that's the problem. I can't control it. Um, yeah. That's only the building we met. Oh, yo, I'm at Shushba. Yeah, it's in the same building. Yay, Hermes. Which is this one right beside us. Oh. Yeah. Inside, yeah. 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 啊在這兒,Valentino還有包在這兒呢。嘿,Chanel衣服。我來看看。這件衣服你買的是什麼? <笑>滾。好多Chanel的衣服。You guys see this? This is a tofu store. So per meal here costs 150 USD per person and it's honestly huge they have creeks in there and when you were up from above in the tower you can actually see you know the entire place and it's huge so bright <laughs> 